Thanks so much, Lucas. How's everyone feeling today? Are we all excited? Yeah. I hope everyone's just as excited to present all of their amazing pitches to us today as we are excited to hear all of them. So at Y2, again, as Lucas was saying, we really want to promote feedback and we want to be able to help these teams grow and to improve for the next time. So we're very fortunate and lucky to have five amazing judges who took the time out of their very busy schedules to volunteer to provide feedback and to evaluate the pitches with us today. So I'd like to quickly introduce them before we get into the special guest presentation. Um, so first off, we have Karen. Welcome back, Karen. She is currently... Oh, She's currently the Director of Partner Engagement at Venture Lab, and she has her hand at entrepreneurship in the past as well, founding her own tech startup. And she's also received amazing awards such as Top 40 Under 40, WOW, Queen's Diamond Jubilee, and also EY Entrepreneur of the Year. So again, welcome Karen. So we have Douglas. Douglas joining us for the first time. We're very, very happy to have you with us today. He is the editor-in-chief at Betakit, and he's also the founder of Betakit Incorporated. So thank you, Douglas, for joining us. Our third judge is Murat. Murat is the founder of Good News Ventures, which is primarily investing in tech startups. He's also an investor himself and serving on the board of York Angel Investors. Welcome, Murat. Awesome, so our fourth judge is Mike. Mike currently is the president at the advisory firm Castle Gar Management with over 10 years of experience managing and working with tech startups. He's also an entrepreneur himself and speaking of Venture Lab, he is the executive in residence there as well. So welcome Mike. So last but certainly not least, we have our third time judge veteran. We have Courtney with us today. And he is the CEO and the founder of For Healthy Me, which uses AI and digital technology to help manage and better treat patients dealing with these health issues. And they've actually gained amazing traction also in Seattle, in New York, Philadelphia, and Maryland. So welcome Courtney, and thank you so much for being us with us today. <laughs> So once again, I wanted to say thank you to all five of our judges for taking the time to be here with us on a very busy Saturday <laughs> afternoon. And now i like to bring up David. David is the current president at Seneca, and he's also had extensive experience with the nonprofit, the private, and the public sector, notably as the CFO of UNICEF Canada. Wow. And he's also received countless awards for his achievements and his dedication to the community. So obviously like here at Y2, that's very evident because they've been with us as part of the journey from the very, very beginning. So again, what Lucas said to expand upon that, none of us like would have expected Y2 to have grown at such a rapid rate. And that's really thanks to Seneca and all their support. So we couldn't have done a lot of this without Seneca. And just thank you once again. And we're really, really grateful for your support. And I'd like to bring up David now to share more. But anyway, welcome. Uh, we're delighted to have you. Uh, we're delighted to have you here. And and uh, I mean, Luke spoke about the, the kind of the ecosystem, and it really is a big system that, that works together to support all the fabulous work that you are doing and about to present to uh, us this afternoon, um, including right back in your schools and you know some of the teachers that uh, support you there. So let's not let's not forget those. We're joined uh, this afternoon by some uh, other dignitaries, and I'm going to introduce the minister in a moment, but I'd like to uh, uh, note the presence of a uh, member of parliament for Richmond Hill, which is just across the 404. Uh, Majid uh, Johari is here. <laughs> Wonderful to have you here. You're going to hear from uh, Billy Pang, who is a uh, trustee at the York uh, Region uh, School Board. And Associate Deputy Minister Kelly Gillis is here, who is uh, with the Innovation, Science, and Economic Development Ministry. So the federal government has this very interesting model, I should say, the triumvirate, the gang of three, um, the uh, Minister of Science, uh, the Minister of uh, Economic uh, well, Innovation, uh, and of course, the Minister of Tourism and Small Business. And so the three working very closely together uh, are really a, a, uh, at the forefront of the innovation agenda and the entrepreneurship agenda, and that's of course what uh, it's uh, all about here. 
So I have to tell you, now you're probably too young to be involved, uh, you think, in politics, but our uh, guest speaker uh, was involved in politics. In fact, at the tender age of uh, 13, when she started volunteering uh, in uh, politics. And I have to say, I know people sort of think, oh, well, they, you know, they left a career as an entrepreneur to become a politician. I actually think being a politician is one of the most entrepreneurial things that you can do, um, because it really, there's nothing there's nothing like getting yourself out there, hanging yourself out there to dry, uh, like uh, like uh, offering yourself up, particularly in this uh, in this day and age, um, for uh, for uh, uh, elected office. So um, uh, the Honorable Bartis Jagger had uh, a, a very successful career in Waterloo, uh, worked uh, uh, tirelessly in the community in a in a whole bunch of uh, roles. Uh, also worked for the Kitchener Waterloo Multicultural Center. Was in fact, I mean. Uh, we have to admit, even up here in the York region, uh, they know a thing or two about entrepreneurship in uh, Waterloo. Um, and so it comes out of that, uh, that background. And then at, uh, is one of that uh, team of very young, uh, accomplished politicians who uh, our Prime Minister is appointed to Cabinet, uh, decided that she didn't have enough to do just being Minister of Small Business and Tourism, uh, and gave her as well the role of Government House Leader. And I, you know, it's not, a, it's not a huge necessarily public role, but it's an incredibly important role really is uh, the, the quarterback, as it were, of the government's uh, legislative parliamentary agenda. So it's a, it's, a, it's a huge role in addition to the uh, important one that she plays as, uh, as a minister. So uh, I think you have to understand, and I just you know, leave you with this, underline this thought of how uh, really special it is to have uh, someone of, uh, of her uh, caliber, uh, the, a rising star, uh, join us for this afternoon. Uh, and to partake and give us some great words of wisdom. Look forward to it, Minister. Thank you for joining us.